Welcome to CKLA Knowledge 6, Lesson 6, History of Space Exploration and Astronauts. Our purpose for listening today is we want to identify the four phases of the moon. Listen carefully to describe the experiences of the first astronauts. And listen to understand the word launch. The study of outer space is called astronomy. Let's think, whose job is it to study the stars? It's an astronomer's job. How does the moon appear to be glowing at night? The moon appears to be glowing when in fact, it is the sun's light reflecting off the moon that we see. What are the phases of the moon? There are four of them. New moon, crescent moon, half moon, and full moon. Listen carefully to learn more about space exploration and astronauts. Ever since they first gazed up at the stars, people have wondered if it was possible and what it would be like to travel into outer space. For most of human history, the idea of traveling into space was considered to be impossible. Space, most people thought, was out of reach and there was no way humans would ever be able to go there. Still, this did not keep people from using their imaginations and coming up with creative ideas for space travel. The Chinese invented the first rockets hundreds of years ago using gunpowder, the same type of explosive used to fire guns and cannons. Lighting the gunpowder would launch the rocket into the air. Eventually, people thought about using rockets to go all the way to outer space. It was not until about 100 years ago that scientists started to make serious advances in rocket technology. By the 1950s, rocket technology had improved to the point that people began to think seriously about space travel and exploration. Back then, there was a nation called the Soviet Union which no longer exists today, but which consisted of Russia and other countries near Russia. At the time, the United States was the only other nation in the world as large or as strong as the Soviet Union. The leaders of the Soviet Union and the United States each wanted to show the world that theirs was the more powerful country by being the first to launch a rocket into outer space. This photo shows scientists in the United States launching the first rocket from Cape Canaveral, Florida. This was just a test to see whether this type of rocket engine worked. The Soviet Union succeeded in putting the first man-made object into orbit on October 4, 1957 by launching a satellite called Sputnik 1. A satellite is any object that moves in a constant orbit around another object in space. Sputnik 1 was carried into space aboard a rocket and then released. It orbited Earth for several months before re-entering the atmosphere and burning up. After the success of Sputnik 1, the space race between the United States and the Soviet Union had begun. Each country wanted to prove that it had a better space program than the other country. For several years, the Soviet Union continued to lead in the space race. The leaders and people of each country took the space race very seriously. The United States developed a program called the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA for short. The scientists at NASA hurried to try to catch up to the program the Soviets had made. A few months after the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 1, NASA scientists in the United States 
launched a satellite of their own, Explorer 1. The space race continued at a heated pace into 1961, when Soviet Yuri Gagarin became the first person to go into space and return safely. This picture of Gagarin was taken on the way to the launch pad for his historic journey. You can bet he was feeling nervous at this point. The Americans were close behind. A couple of months after Gagarin made his famous flight, a man named Alan Shepard became the first American to travel into space. This picture was taken shortly before Shepard boarded the Freedom 7 spacecraft. Notice that like Gagarin, Shepard was wearing a helmet and a special suit. Space travelers need special gear like this in order to survive the extreme conditions of outer space, where there is no air and where the temperatures can be both incredibly hot and incredibly cold. Returning from outer space is just as dangerous as launching into outer space. This photo shows the Freedom 7 Alan Shepard's ship after his flight. Shepard is inside that little capsule. When his flight was finished, the capsule re-entered the atmosphere and a parachute opened to lower it gently to Earth. Shepard landed in the ocean as planned and the capsule floated there until a helicopter came to recover him. Space travelers, like Alan Shepard, are called astronauts. The word astronaut comes from two Greek words, astro meaning star and not meaning sail. So an astronaut is a star sailor. Although being an astronaut can certainly be one of the most interesting jobs in the world, it is by no means an easy job. Astronauts spend years in training to prepare for journeys into outer space. Astronauts must be healthy and strong because space travel can be very difficult. Astronauts are stuffed into tiny spaces and launched into space in a rocket powered by thousands of gallons of powerful fuel. It is scary and it is uncomfortable, but astronauts put up with it. This picture shows astronauts undergoing training. These Apollo 17 astronauts are learning to use equipment for their mission. Early NASA astronauts also spent hours and hours running in place on treadmills, soaking their feet in ice water, and undergoing a number of other difficult, painful tests intended to make them tough. They had to be tough to be astronauts. Hmm, what did you learn? Share with a friend something you learned about astronauts and space travel. Try these sentence starters. The space race was, or I think being an astronaut would be. Have fun, see you back here next time.